Hey everyone, and welcome to part 6 of Spyro 2 Ripto's Rage. I'm Nostalgia Scott, and we're going to Crystal Glacier like I promised you guys in the last episode. That plan failed miserably. And so yeah, the concept with this level is to unfreeze these guys so you can get to the end of the level. Uh, two orbs and once again 400 gems and probably my all-time favorite um, talisman. Spiral, the ice wizards have imprisoned our leader, Shaman Tuck. Can you help us rescue him? It is urgent. He has our tickets to tonight's hockey game in Colossus Valley. Ah, so apparently Colossus is actually just short for Colossus Valley. And then the first one and last one usually talk to you. If you get on the catapult, we'll help you across the chasm. Hey Mankey, are you the Pokemon? No, your name's spelt wrong. Also, we get the, a third ability in the last world, that's why we can't get 100% on these levels. Now, kill these guys before uh, I'm trying to unfreeze them, because they'll literally just freeze them back up. Hence, you know, the cutscene being the evil ice wizard. I hate killing these little snowmen, they're so adorable. I feel like I'm some murderer killing Olaf or something. That damn overhyped snowman. Apparently this guy doesn't actually talk to you. I believe these bottle or these vase rockets actually also uh, can unfreeze them. Oh, you're the last one. See, I like how there are points in the game where Spyro technically can't do it himself, so he has to call in the help of others. So it proves that, you know, he can't do everything by himself. Hey, games where apparently, like, you can do everything, you can do, like, all this impossible shit. No, Spyro can do it. So levels aren't always designed around Spyro being able to accomplish it. Though, I honestly don't get how these guys get around with this place either, you know? Like, look at this. How are they supposed to jump over that giant chasm over some pink goo that'll probably burn their uh, loincloths off? And are those like snow hairs with ra uh, with uh, drills? I was about to say snow hair with rabbit, but I meant like hairs in rabbit. I hear something. Oh, it's you that I heard. I'll get you later. Are you kidding me? My flame missed. <laughs> Burn. Yeah, and money bags is here too, so we're gonna have to pay that greedy glutton again. Damn, dude, he's one of the seven sins. He's greed. God, it's binding of Isaac all over. You can actually charge into those weird horned rabbits. Ah. Thank you, Sparks, for pointing me in the direction that I need to find. You. What are you doing? Oh, you mean underneath the ground? Yeah, we can't really deal with that yet until Hello we come around. Spyro. I could arrange for you to cross this bridge for <clears throat> a small fee. Um, I guess so. Eh, it's only 200 gems. But he looks cold. Like, look at his coloring. He actually legitimately looks cold. Honestly, one of the best bridges in all of Spyro. Like, I mean, out of any game, that is one of the best money bag unlockables ever. Yeah, I'm like, are you gonna zap me or not? Wow, ending of the level already. Like, honestly, this we might actually be able to get another level in this episode. We're only four minutes in, and we're already at the ending. Like, sure, I know we still have to do the two orb challenges, but it's not gonna take that long to do. Plus, uh, let's just grab all this uh, awesomeness right here first. What are you doing over here? You're not even, like, in a spot where you can freeze them. So, I think he was. You're not the last one? Oh, you're the last one. Let me grab that 10 first. I want I want a free $10 bill. Thanks, Spyro. Just hold tight for a second and look out below. Oh, no, look out below. Kind of wish this game took place, like, on a bigger full screen. There's nothing I can do with that with the recording. I'm playing this on P uh, PS3, and it literally has an in boxed window mode. 
Like, there are big black bars on both the left and the right, and half-sized ones, like, on top and bottom. Nothing I can do. Ow. You think those guys could have got me out of here without rolling a two-ton snowball onto my head? Here, take this crystal. I traded some hockey tickets for it. <laughs> you guys even have a talisman, thanks. Well, too bad you guys don't get to go to the hockey game in Colossus anymore because your uh, leader there traded it for a ticket, or ticket, for a crystal that I now have. So, sucks to be you. And also, our first orb challenge is over here. I don't know if this is technically the first or second, but it's the first one that we're going to do. And it actually involves a little putty tat. So this putty tat here, he'll lead you to where you need to go. Obviously. And you need to go this way anyway to collect everything, so... What I recommend is you collect all of these gems first. Now, for this part... I believe you have to go up to him, right? Yeah, so it's weird. It's like you have to gain his trust... And then you have to feed them by flaming the fish that jump out of these little uh, pits of water, these little pools. And then you have to follow him. Like, you can't outrun him up because otherwise you'll lose him. And it's, I don't know, it, it's, it's a weird game design. Yeah, I didn't think this video is going to be 10 minutes at this rate. The worst part is how slow this cat goes, but I believe you only have to do it three times. I thought it was like four or five, but it's only three. There you go, buddy. Now we should sit, right? Come up to us and sit. Now for this, all we have to do is we just walk with him. Walk. Don't charge. Because if you charge, you'll just leave him behind and then it'll take longer. But you just walk with him. Should still be behind us. I think we can hear him. You just come up to this guy. Here we go. You found George. I'm so glad he's safe. I'll be sure to pay more attention to him from now on. All I have with me is this round shiny thing I caught while I was fishing. You can have it if you like. Oh man, you can hear George meowing in the background. That's adorable. Oh, well, I'm glad you love your kitty, sir. Take good care of him. He's a cute little snow leopard. I'm glad you tamed him. I have two kitties myself, Ace and Angel. Technically, they were never actually originally my cats, but pretty much got them after my brothers didn't watch after them. Came my good little buddies. I'm gonna collect all the gems here though before we do the challenge, and for this challenge, we just have to jump through that that wing portal and kill all these spiders. And they do have a pretty fast respawn time, so can't really afford to fuck up because otherwise you just have to wait and. Um, do it all again after they all respawn back. Shoot, there's six gems missing. Up there. I don't know, Sparks in this game is really bad at telling you where things are. Get out of the way, spider. Three-eyed spider. Spiders don't have three eyes, do they? I'm pretty sure they have more. Bad game design. These spiders don't look realistic. I don't really care. I still love the game. In like modern games, I, say, I I always call BS on things that aren't realistic because they try and make the game realistic. Because like, don't make it look realistic if it's not realistic, you know? Like, I, I, like, I like games like Borderlands because they have like a, a comic book vibe to them. Like even superhero games are focusing on like realistic graphics instead of like cartoon, you know? Or comic book, even. Man, see? Two of them already spawned back. And there we go! That's all of them dead. You have saved us all from a grisly fate. Please, accept this orb as a small token of our thanks. He knows what the fucking orb is. How come the other people don't? Boobs. Alright, anyways... Um, oh. Wait, what? Hey, the gems aren't here, are they? Oh, god damn it. They are up here. And there we go. 
we can now leave this level and go do a different one. So, see you guys after the cutscene. Honestly, wouldn't Spyro freeze in a, an ice world because he's a dragon? You know, he's a reptile. And then again, I'm not going to question logic. It's a video game. Who cares? Video game logic. Now, anyways, let's go do the second half of this, I guess, like, caveman type area. And go to Skilo's Badlands. The barren wasteland of a canyon type. Kind of reminds me of the canyon levels in Spyro the Dragon. Oh god, these things are sinister, dropping people off the glass. These guys are building their house out of animals' bones, or people's bones. Like, honey, did you bury our departed? No, I, I turned him into our into the house. I believe there's a free life if you, you can get for blowing up all the cacti. Or cactuses, like a lot of people don't understand. Cacti is the plural, but it's weird because you try and type in cacti and they try and say it's wrong. I think, like, autocorrect literally just feeds off of stupidity. Because it also says plow is not a word, and yet plow is a word. You know, to plow snow, a snow plow, a, to plow your wife, you know, stuff like that. Now, this honestly has one of the hardest sets of orbs to get in the entirety of the game. And it's right there, up there. Man. Boom. It bro. Bro bat. Bats that can shoot fire, that's not normal. It's actually very terrifying, but... Much I can do about it. Now, you need to grab one of these, uh, lava orbs, lava balls, lava rocks and shoot it up at this guy with the bone. And you need to collect eight of these, I believe? Yeah, eight bones. That's for the third orb. That one's not as difficult. There's some difficult spots, but eh, overall not that bad. Now let's talk to this guy. What's your name? Spyro, our village is being overrun by lava lizards. Can't you get rid of them before they eat my little buddies? I'll lower the bridge for you so you can get over there. So the other guys are just little buddies, Lumpy. Okay, difficulty three. And this one... I don't know if this one necessarily deserves a three-star difficulty challenge, because this one's not that bad. But if the next one is not five, then there's definitely something wrong with it. And we all know where the last one is. Yo! Burning eight. Well done, Grasshopper. Take this shiny, uh, thing we found to aid your journey. He said ting, not thing, but okay, subtitle. Ooh, we're gonna have 31 orbs uh -oh. after this. It looks like more lizard eggs are dropping down. Are you ready for another challenge? I guess so. Oh no, five! Yep, this one definitely deserves five. Oh, and these birds make, I believe, one other appearance in the entire game. Also, I find the uh, levels in the final world to be very weird for being like, you know, final world material. There we go. Oh, barely, but we Thank did it. Thank for helping us again, Spyro. You deserve another shiny thing. I was going to use it as a nightlight. Uh, it is pretty scary not having electricity, bro. I, I feel you there. I feel you. But you guys probably have all the beautiful stars that you can can look up at at night. If you guys don't have to hide in a cave because of all the mutinous monsters that exist. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about, game. You can actually get this guy without needing the lava rock just because he's on the ground. Unless you can also use this guy's head to kill him. Yeah, and Sparks doesn't pick it up, so you actually have to manually do it yourself. This is actually invincibility. 
so he can run on lava. We'll be using that later. Wait, I had one of those orbs in my mouth? Really? Huh, whoa. Get out of here, enemy. You know what? I want to kill you. No, you're not going over the lava. Give me this lizard. Okay, I'll happily take another lava rock. I don't know, I assume everything in this game is based on lava, or this world is based on lava. Oh, you can't actually flame it. Oh, I always thought you could. I guess you could charge it, but... I'll just use these rocks. Thank you! Thank you for my third bone. Yeah, man, I just got my third ever boner. Yummy. Can you... I guess he doesn't want to die today. Then again, whoever wants to die. There we go, you must be number six. Yeah, he is! See, that guy will give us the, um... The... Mission to get all the bones. But we're already started, so we don't need to talk to him. Plus, that vase, uh, do it last, because it goes all the way back to the beginning of the level. Like, you have to follow it. They introduce it in this, in this, uh, home world, and then they use it almost every level after this. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, you see it four of... I believe four times or something like that in this world alone. Like you see it here, I believe you see it in Zephyr. Um, you see it in Scorch, maybe Scorch. Um, I know for a fact you see it in um, Shady Oasis. So at least three to four times, at least. Plus almost every level in the uh, last world too. So, let's go up here. This only gives us temporary invincibility. Like, it'd be cheap to give us invincibility for a long time, you know? Okay, you know, let's go this way first. Boom. Thank you for the sixth bone. And the seventh bone is just over here. And then we know where the eighth bone is. It's where we first needed the invincibility. Like, where we seen the first invincibility uh, gateway. Okay, this one you don't actually need invincibility for. What you need to do is you just need to time it right. Like that. Wait, no, we don't need that invincibility. What am I doing? We can just go back this way. Okay, and then what we have to do is collect everything in here first because you don't want to have to do it again. Oh man, damn it. Bone, where are you? Woohoo! Thank you, Spyro. Now I can put my friend back together. Please, take this as a token of my appreciation. A the way he left it with me a little while ago. The way he said, uh, token, he's like, token. Token of appreciation. Yeah. Now watch this. Raise the roof, Mr. Skeleton. And you can't break him or anything. Also, let's grab the talisman. Excellent! You made it through the Badlands! I knew I'd win that bet. My cousin Gronk is a fool to bet against a dragon. Take this talisman for helping me out. Especially Spyro the Dragon. There's a Skeel's Badlands talisman. It's a bone. Eh, I kinda figured it'd be something like that, eh? You know what, let's just go up and flame that boss real quickly. Yeah, you can flame it, charge it, head bash it, whatever, you name it. I'm also fighting severe knee pain because I had my knee cramped up. I don't know, it gets bad during the winter. Also, I sit cross-legged way too much due to the fact that, um... Uh, my recording station is at a very cramped table sitting, like, in the middle of the living room. I'm gonna change it here eventually where I can actually use our cushion chair. Please be the life. There we go. You see, they're not officially skill points in this game. Oh, shit! I thought I could make it, but no. Appar apparently, I couldn't. 
So this video is going to be a perfect length of this, and I believe the boss is up here, right? Yep. Now I believe you only have to hit it twice more. I always thought it had a few more spots that you had to go to, but... Excuse me, I guess this is technically the first time you deal with it. Oh yay, a free one up. 20 lives. Like, we need that many in Spyro. We have yet to die. Thank you. And that one's by all those other gems. You know, all the ones that we use the rocket to get. Oh, it actually breaks right here. Woo! Perfect. And that's Skilo's Badlands done, so let's leave the level. They trampled the poor caveman, and also, why did they have a video camera? That makes no sense. It's funny, because the um, overworld, or like the intro screen music is from Glimmer, but the uh, levels from Skeetle's Badlands, so. Anyways, in the next episode, we can either do Breeze Harbor or Zephyr. If you guys want to comment in the comment section below, then do so. But if not, we'll probably do Zephyr. So until then, guys, stay awesome. This is Nostalgia Scott signing off.